guys, Johnny Nerd out. Uh, we're, this is video, I think, four on the e-motorcycle conversion. Um, just wanted to give you an update on where you're at. A lot of people were like, is it, does it work? What happened? Did you give up on it? No, I, so this motorcycle was sitting, I moved across country, it was sitting in my in-laws garage for about a year while I moved. Wouldn't fit on the truck, so I, there's been about a year delay. Uh, but now it's up, it's running, it's still in like a uh, prototype, not nearly finished mode, but it's, it's running. I've been riding this thing around. You see, I got a temporary battery on it. This is a 72 volt, 12 amp hour battery that I got on it. Um, this is actually the battery that I sell at the shop. I'm using this one because it's a high performance pack. It'll put out 50 amps continuous. Uh, I think it's about 100 amps max, something like that. But uh, yeah, 72 volts, fully charged, like 84 volts times 50. We're putting a little over 4,000 watts out, which is pretty good. Um, I got the Sab Voton controller. It's a 72150, which just means it's a 72 volt, 150 amp version. Um, which obviously it's pulling more than this thing can handle at the moment. But this is just, I just want to see if this thing will run. And it, it runs. This is the QS motor. Got the new chain. I was having a problem with the old sprocket here. I had a 37 tooth. And the performance was, eh, it wasn't great. Going with, I think it's a 14 tooth up front and a 37 in the back was not great. So I went with a 48 tooth. Now my performance is a lot better. Um, it's like a 30% increase in torque. Um, top speed is really not affected much. I'm still getting about 60 miles an hour top speed. I had to get a new chain. So it's like you get one thing, you gotta wait, you gotta get the other thing. Um, you can see everything is just kind of loosely zip tied here. This is nowhere near finished, but I just, Got to get on there, see if it runs. I got my, you know, temporary LED light bulbs. I'm probably going to get rid of this one. Speedometer works though, which is great. Um, I'll get to you guys a little, I'll show you guys how it runs, how it looks running. Um, it's a blast. And yeah, this, totally am convinced. Now I've got the itch. I want to do another conversion because then I'll just be able to reuse the same battery that I have. On this bike, I should be able to hot swap it, put it on the other bike. So all you got to do, find a donor bike, a couple hundred bucks, Buy a motor, a couple hundred bucks, and then the battery, you could have a whole garage full of electric motorcycle conversions for fairly cheap. For less than the cost of one brand new motorcycle, you probably have three motorcycles. So yeah, definitely have got the bug, got it plated, street legal, got the mirrors. Um, I just gotta get the turn signals hooked up, the brake light, gotta get all that figured out. Um, but that'll be on the next video. I just wanted to give you an update. So let's go show me riding around on this bad boy. All right, so keep following along. Progress is gonna keep going now, now that I've got the bike back in my hands and I'm able to get, you know, parts going on it. So stay tuned for the next chapter and uh, yeah, see how this thing progresses. Uh, and don't forget, if you guys wanna buy e-motorcycle conversion kits, e-bicycle e conversion kits, you wanna convert anything on two wheels, go to johnnynerdout.com. I carry all this stuff there. Um, I've got the QS motor on my website. I'm gonna start carrying all this stuff as I'm putting this stuff together. I'll start adding it to my shop. If there's anything you want, let me know. Anything where I where I got stuff, just let me know. All right, thanks guys.